New at 10, new details about a Madison County man locked up after police say a child used his gun to shoot another child. 34-year-old Clarence Turner is charged with reckless endangerment and being a felon in possession of a gun. But this, unfortunately, is not the only case of an accidental shooting involving a child this month. Way 31 reporter Maddie McCaffrey joins us live from the Madison County Courthouse. Maddie, you spoke with the district attorney's office about these disturbing cases. Yeah, Dan, I did, and they say that it's very concerning that not one, but two children have accidentally fired a weapon in the past couple weeks. Now, as for the gas station shooting, the DA's office say they want Turner to remain behind bars. Court records revealed Turner served time in a federal prison for a 2012 robbery. He admitted to stealing controlled substances and firing a weapon during the crime. In May of 2015, he was arrested and actually did federal time for pharmacy robbery and discharging a gun during a crime of violence. So under both federal law and Alabama state law, a guy like that is not allowed to have guns anymore. Most recently, in fall 2023, Turner was charged with a robbery and was out on bond up until this week when he was arrested. He committed a robbery, or at least been charged with a robbery, and was on bond for that when this new crime occurred, leaving the gun in the back with the kids. So our office is in the process right now of revoking his bond so he doesn't get out. Clearly, he's a guy that is not listening to the rules anywhere he goes. Chief trial attorney at the Madison County DA's office, Tim Douthit, says it is terrifying that children are getting access to guns. Uh... Look, these kind of cases are always tragic. Uh, I guess I'm glad people are not intentionally going out and hurting kids, but that almost makes it more tragic when something like this happens. These are avoidable. These are things that a little common sense would go a really long way towards say, making our communities a lot safer than they could be. Anybody that has a gun knows that it is two things. It is a very valuable tool and very dangerous and you have to treat it like both of those things. And as of tonight, Turner remains behind bars here in Madison County and a judge has not yet ruled on the DA's office request to revoke his bond. We'll stay on top of this story for you and share any updates on air and online at waytv.com. I'm live in Huntsville with coverage you can count on. Maddie McCaffrey, Way 31 News.